If you take a look at these single cell protists, it is easy to see that cells are alive. In order to stay alive, cells have organelles that each carry out a specific function that help keeps the cell alive. Let's take a look at several of these organelles. Up first, the nucleus. If you take a look at this animal cell, you can actually see the nucleus. It is the dark section. The DNA of a cell is found at the nucleus. DNA is a blueprint for making proteins. Sections of the DNA travel to the ribosome and provide instructions for creating a protein. Proteins play several important functions in the cell, such as being building blocks for building structures, carrying messages throughout the cell in the form of hormones. They also help fight disease in the form of antibiotics and are also enzymes that speed up chemical reactions. The cytoplasm helps to give the cell its shape. Think of filling up a water balloon. Without cytoplasm, the cell would be deflated and materials would not be able to pass easily from one organelle to another. In addition, there are important molecules dissolved in the cytoplasm, such as enzymes, glucose, fatty acid, sugars, and amino acids. The cell membrane is a membrane that surrounds the cell. Think of it as a protective barrier. Plus, it is the main organelle responsible for maintaining homeostasis in the cell by regulating the movement of materials into and out of the cell. The cell wall is found in plant cells and fungal cells, but not in animal cells. It is a rigid layer made of cellulose that surrounds the cell and gives the cell structure. It helps protect the cell from infection, prevents water loss, and helps keep the cell from rupturing. Chloroplasts are found in plant cells. They are the site for photosynthesis, and photosynthesis allows the plant to produce sugar from sunlight. Without chloroplasts, plants would not have the sugar that is needed for cellular respiration. Lysosomes help break down old cell parts, digest materials in the cell, and objects that enter. Cell lysosomes have a single membrane and are filled with digestive enzymes. The enzymes break down complex molecules that include complex sugars and proteins. You may have heard that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. It gets this name because it is the major site of ATP production. ATP is an energy source for the cell. For example, it is used by protein pumps found in the cell membrane, which allows materials to move in and out of the cells that can't just pass using passive transport. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.